Next. Next. For the sake of time, I uh, speed up a little bit. Uh, synchronize and recombine processes. Uh, uh, Marcel and Doma already uh, uh, made a few examples where uh, uh, just by redefining what the actual uh, uh, commission is, what the program is, by synchronizing processes and recombining existing qualities into a new setting, uh, something new might come into existence without much, uh, uh, without much uh, 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 reliance on, 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 a new, on big energy or uh, materials or the production of uh, completely new uh, areas. I mean the development of new areas. Next. Here, for instance, is a very interesting project by Van Berg and Kolpa Architect. Um, there is this kind of uh, uh, vast wasteland uh, between Rotterdam and The Hague, where uh, formerly there was agriculture, and that's no longer there, so they need to think what to do with this area. And they have uh, uh, come up with an idea next, to let the locals, the, 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 the citizens of The Hague and Rotterdam, to, to let them grow their own food, their own crops, and even have their own cattle. So the people start to produce food near the city on a small scale, which gives them, of course, something to eat, but also gives them something to, uh, to acknowledge the other people. Because other people do not, you know, don't, don't uh, uh, till the land for getting uh, more crops or uh, apples and pears. For instance, they want uh, uh, exotic fruits. There are a lot of Turkish people. In, in, uh, in Rotterdam, there are a lot of people from uh, Morocco in, in, in The Hague. There are a lot of uh, uh, other expats and, and people from uh, Eastern Europe. Polish people are uh, near, nearby. So and they are taking their fruits, their dishes, their uh, uh, cuisine to uh, not just to the uh, restaurants of their cities, but even to the way they take the land. And this is, of course, also a way to create social cohesion and to create new value. Next. And it can look nice as well. Next. And more examples where here in this project, next. The proposal is meant to uh, uh, have a kind of generic uh, layout of the system, as you saw in the picture before, where uh, 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 different forms of agriculture, uh, office parks, uh, water retention, and other functions are combined into one logistic system and uh, the different parties are relying on one overall logistic uh, uh, or, or one apparatus and, and, and saving a lot of uh, resources by doing that. Next. Again, this kind of flow chart which shows how you are reusing materials and, and uh, even uh, can uh, uh, work out a good way to uh, use the waste. Next. And this is one last example of this uh, uh, intelligence to, to recombine here a project where uh, an architect, uh, uh, Leeds of Landscape Office, has uh, found opportunity to do something with the superfluous sand that, uh, that came out of the extension of the harbor of Almuiden. It's a harbor city near Amsterdam. They wanted to expand, so they had to remove a lot of sand. And instead of uh, taking the sand out of the land and, 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 and export it, uh, he said, well, maybe I use this sand for new dunes. So um, there is this economical function of uh, extension of the harbor, but the next step is that it can become a, a tool to defend the coastline much stronger. And by doing that, it even creates a new leisure landscape. So there, are, there is economy, there is coastal defense, and there is leisure economy, and all these are combined into one single architectural design. So this is smart combining of processes. Next. Well, maybe one more example about recombining. In, in this project by OMA and Ram Kolhas, they came up with a proposal to have wind farms in the North Sea. You know, this is Holland. UK, Germany, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. And he proposed to have a kind of joint venture where the entire North Sea is uh, developing, uh, uh, all the countries around the North Sea are developing a, a, a super energy wave of wind farms that is uh, uh, producing so much energy that once and for all this alternative source of energy becomes a serious player in the energy market. 
And not just that, of course, it's also a way to do geopolitics. Because that would mean, for the first time, that the North Sea is treated not just in, in all these segments, and people are fighting for their, for their rights to drill uh, and to take gas out of, the, uh, out of the sea, but they are trying to collaborate and using the North Sea as a vast field, uh, as a resource base for uh, future economies. Next. Next. And then another strategy uh, in this uh, uh, Architecture of Consequence series, which is to socialize. To socialize in the city through design. Next. Here, an architect, uh, uh, without much work, just inventing a project by, uh, by uh, uh, engineering economy in neighborhoods in Rotterdam. The, mark, the market that also became, uh, that almost became obsolete in uh, the south part of Rotterdam, suddenly by means of kind of curating, a, curation, a, a curatorial vision of the market became very popular again. Next. Or this guy, Jan Konings, he invented the Hotel Transvaal, next, next picture, where he found in a neighborhood Where's, where's the ground plan? I don't only see the function. But anyway, this is a kind of neighborhood uh, uh, where uh, he found empty houses, empty lots, where he, did, where he started uh, small hotels. And this local chain of hotels uh, fueled uh, the vitality of the neighborhood very much because the artists and the uh, uh, guests of the hotels were going into the neighborhood and uh, uh, recharge that area very much. Next. Next. <coughs> Next. I will skip a couple of examples. Next. So what I'm trying to point out here is uh, that architecture, that design, uh, of course, can still be seen as the production of images. It still can be seen as the production of objects in space. And of course, as architects and as designers, you can confine yourself, you can shackle yourself, to only that scale. But I, I'm, I'm, my, my proposition is think beyond the image, think beyond the object, and think about the poor performativity of design. Think about how architecture can make a difference. Next. To create a closer and cleaner food production. Next. To create environments where exercise is nice to do, where, which is more accessible and which, 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 with uh, less pollution. Next. An energy system which is self-sufficient and more economical. No mortgage on the future of our children. Next. An architecture that finds space where nobody expects it. Next. An architecture that helps people to synchronize and to enjoy quality time. Next. An architecture that enables people to, 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 to find each other to uh, organize encounters, to uh, foster understanding and dialogue. Next. An architecture that helps establish a society to think in the long term and to think sustainably. Like here in Bhutan, not too quickly, but <laughs> in Bhutan, which uh, uh, no longer has a gross national product, which is an economical category, but has a gross uh, happiness product which is a much more comprehensive notion of what the society is all about. The close national happiness. <laughs> right, well, that's uh, my proposition to you. I think uh, um, it's all about strategies. It's all about the uh, courage to redefine what you are doing and to escape the uh, repetitive patterns of uh, the professions. And I think uh, what can be done by architects it can also be done by politicians, it can also be done by, uh, by clients, by investors, by developers, by housing corporations. Um, uh, and, and, and that's what we exactly need, right? We need this kind of openness, this, this uh, ability to probe new trajectories, new strategies, uh, which uh, may help us to find each other more quickly and uh, uh, more beneficially. Um, so I had also a few remarks about um, uh, what I thought about redefining the issues here, uh, but I, I will save them for the debate because um, there is something about redefining exactly what the issue is here, you know, to find this common ground for which it's by